After years and years of films, it's hard to find a narrative that's 100% original. I did it with my bare hands. Everything seems to take inspiration from something that's come before, but sometimes Hollywood hits rock bottom creatively, and two different studios work on movies that have nearly identical plots. This phenomenon is known as twin films. Here are Screen Rant's 10 movies that stole their stories from other films. White House Down and Olympus Has Fallen We never got to see John McClane in his prime protect the US president in a Die Hard sequel, so the studios overcompensated for that in 2013. Dueling action films Olympus Has Fallen and White House Down featured a lone action hero fighting off a terrorist attack at the White House. Olympus went for the R rating, and that decision paid off. It was better received critically and ended up being more profitable than the flashier Roland Emmerich flick, which underperformed in the box office despite its A-list cast. Out of the two, Olympus was the only one to warrant a sequel. Ants and A Bug's Life Pixar's second feature, A Bug's Life, is a mostly forgotten entry in their stellar filmography, but it's still a strong offering that has beautiful visuals and a powerful message. That being said, its premise wasn't as unique as some of Pixar's other films. DreamWorks Ants also dealt with the free-thinking ant that falls for a princess and fights to save his colony, and even beat Pixar to theaters by a month. There's some added drama here. As some feel, DreamWorks' Jeffrey Katzenberger stole the idea when he left Disney's animation department. Both received positive reviews, but A Bug's Life won the box office war. Deep Impact and Armageddon Hollywood loves to blow things up, and worldwide destruction is a staple of the action genre. Still, the coincidences between Deep Impact and Armageddon were too big not to notice. Separated by just two months, they both featured a large space object flying towards Earth, with only a team of unexpected heroes able to stop it before it's too late. Though Michael Bay's Armageddon had more hype and posted higher box office totals, many believe Deep Impact to be the winner here. It was felt to be the more emotional and sentimental of the two, while Armageddon was thought to be just brainless fun. Ed TV and The Truman Show With today's society obsessed with reality TV and insta-celebrity culture, The Truman Show seemed awfully prophetic when it was released in 1998, but maybe that's because it executed its premise better than the similar Ed TV, which came out in 1999. Both explored the oddity of having cameras record your everyday life for the world, and the toll that it takes on its subjects. But Truman Show was a bona fide Oscar contender and rode Jim Carrey's popularity to box office goal. Ed TV was a commercial dud and received mixed reviews, making it an afterthought before its run was over. The Prestige and The Illusionist Everyone loves the magic of movies, but what about movies about magic? Hollywood double dipped in this genre in 2006 when The Prestige and The Illusionist came out. Both were period pieces that dealt with supernatural magic in deadly magician rivalries. It's hard to say which one was the true winner here, as each one received positive reviews and scored modest box office success. They were even nominated for the same Academy Award. If anything, The Prestige has the upper hand, as director Christopher Nolan's touch and the star-studded cast instantly grabbed the viewer and gave them something they'll never forget. We're always watching closely. Saving Private Ryan and The Thin Red Line In 1998, Steven Spielberg's Saving Private Ryan was one of the defining films of the year and captivated audience with its heart-wrenching story and realistic portrayal of World War II. The epic dealt with the bravery soldiers had to possess to complete their mission no matter how foolish it seemed on paper. After Ryan made a fortune at the box office and scored 11 Oscar nods, the thin red line had to be seen as a poor imitation by comparison. It was no slouch, but the other World War II film featured similar themes and setup, causing moviegoers to gloss over it when it was released in January of 1999. No Strings Attached and Friends with Benefits With rare exceptions, rom-coms typically follow the same formula and can come across as cliché. That's exactly how moviegoers felt when No Strings Attached and Friends with Benefits were released just months apart from each other. The premise of both is so similar, it's hard for even the most devout movie followers to keep them straight. It doesn't help that the two were seen as mediocre films that failed to bring anything new to the genre, so it's difficult for either one to truly stand out. Still, with their charming leads, the two films aren't the worst choice for a date night. Mirror Mirror and Snow White and the Huntsman When something as recognizable as Snow White is in the public domain, you can bet that studios will be scrambling to get their own adaptation out. In 2012, Hollywood treated us to Mirror Mirror and Snow White and the Huntsman, both using the classic fairy tale as inspiration. Fortunately, the similarities pretty much stopped there. Mirror Mirror was a more lighthearted, family-friendly affair, while Huntsman strayed towards the darker blockbuster template for older fantasy films. The only problem is that neither one completely pulled off the trick, so fans will still have to settle for Disney's famous animated version. Not that we're complaining. 
The Legend of Hercules and Hercules Once again, Hollywood tries the same thing twice in the same year, and the results were not good. Two films based on the Hercules mythology came out in 2014, and neither one blew audiences away. If there's a winner, it is Hercules, which gave the well-known story enough narrative twist to keep audiences guessing. Legend of Hercules was a straightforward origins picture that skipped over elements that could have made it more interesting. Plus, it's hard to go wrong with The Rock in an action role, regardless of what it is. The People's Champ oozes charisma, especially when compared to Kellen Lutz. Dante's Peak at Volcano There are too many similarities between these two volcano movies to even list. They both feature experienced but troubled heroes tasked with saving their loved ones before a volcanic eruption destroys their home city. Spoiler alert, they even end the same way, with the volcano being deemed an ongoing threat. It's a shame that neither one was able to pull off that exciting premise, as the two films suffered identical fates of being critically panned and box office flops. Dante's Peak at least offered the intriguing pairing of Pierce Brosnan and Linda Hamilton. So there's that if you're stuck on which one to watch. Those are our picks for instances where two studios made the same film. Are there any we missed? Which set of twin films is your favorite? Sound off in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one and an amazing database of movie and TV facts. <laughs>